Oh, you again. Hi. Well, come on in. Come on in out of the cold. It's bitter out there today. <laughs> you know, I don't get as many visitors out here. Once the snow starts falling and the cold winter winds start blowing. Makes the trek all the way out here from town a bit more treacherous than normal. Means I can actually get some work done uninterrupted for a change. It's a good thing, too. I usually have quite a lot of work to do around now, especially with preparing for the Solstice Festival. It's the one festival of the year that I actually don't mind. Probably because it's during my favorite season. There's just something about the tranquility of a quiet, sleepy winter morning that you can't find anywhere else. It refreshes the soul, don't you think? Oh, this? Well, this is my solstice gift this year. It's like my hearthstone poultice, the one you can use to warm up your whole house, except on a much smaller scale. This one produces the perfect amount of heat to keep your hands or your feet nice and warm in the bitter cold of winter. I'm going to give everyone in town a pair of them so they can keep in their pockets or their boots, should fight off the bite of the winter during the festivities. But it would be a nice practical gift this year. Another one done. That means I only have thirty-two to go. <laughs> but that can wait. Obviously you've come all the way out here for something. You wouldn't brave the cold and the ice and the snow just to visit. So, what can I do for you today? A ghost repellent. I suppose it is almost the solstice. Any particular reason why ghosts are on your mind? Oh, you met one on All Hallows' Eve here, did you? <laughs> of course you did. What was the name of this ghost that you met? Penum. You mean the, the elf? Penum, the, the Penum that founded this town, that Penum? And she revealed herself to you? An outsider, rather than... It's fine, it's fine. Ghost repellent, yes, of course I can make you a ghost repellent. They're relatively easy to throw together. Let me just get everything ready and then we'll begin, all right? All right, got everything set up for a ghost repellent. I'm going to start out by lighting a candle. Word to the wise, ghosts hate candlelight. Okay, now we can begin. Starting with some ethereal tree sap. There we are. 
Dus hier nu. Alright, now first up, I'm going to add some necromancer tear. These serve as a deterrent not just to ghosts, but to any sort of necrotic beasts in the night. Very handy to have around. Alright, next up we have seed pods from a weeping saffron bush. This also serves as a deterrent against evil forces, ill intentions. It serves to protect. Next up, add a bit of skull powder. Sounds a bit macabre, maybe. Having something so very human around is also a deterrent to spirits that don't have a physical host. Next, just a few drops of concentrated absinthe. This is not necessarily a poison, but, well, I guess it is a low level poison. Another substance that ghosts would prefer to not be anywhere near. These are ashes of grass that I burned, that I picked from growing over graves. Something that reminds them that they don't belong here anymore. They should cross over. Right, 
and last, but certainly not least, astral sand to help guide them back to the astral plane. Candles have still gone out. I wonder if there's a ghost here a bit early. We'll relight it in a moment. Here we are. That does happen sometimes spirits that are stuck between the realms don't like it when you try to tell them to leave. Pesky ghosts here. Away with you. Go find peace. There we are. One ghost repellent ready to go. So, the night of the solstice, you're going to sprinkle this all the way around your bed in a full circle. You may want to push it away from the wall so you can make a circle uninterrupted. And that should keep away any whispering ghosts all night long. There you are. Anything else I can do for you today? No? Just the ghost repellent? Alright, sounds good. That'll be six coins, please. Wonderful. Thank you. Alright, well, you'd best be heading off back to town. It gets dark early these days, you know. Wouldn't want you to be walking through the woods in the night. You know what? It's really cold out there. Would you like a pair of these? Yeah, of course. I can always make two more for solstice. That's not a problem. But yeah, why don't you take those too? Happy early solstice from me to you. Right. Well, if I don't see you before, I suppose I'll see you at the solstice festival then. Have a good day.